Hi everyone. So today we are going to be going through the mathematics. CSEC, May, June 2024, paper three. Um, this is going to be uploaded in two videos. I'll do two parts, one part per question. Right. So the first question is a giveaway of a mark. Um, they show us a road. There are 289 houses, numbered one to 289. And we have the western side and the eastern side. Circle the house numbers in the list below that is on the eastern side of the road. If we look on the eastern side of the road, we see only odd numbers. So therefore, we have to circle the odd numbers from this list, right? 87 and 189. That's what we are seeing as the two odd, right? Determine the number of houses on the western side of the road. So they want us to determine the integers from one integer to another. And the formula we usually use is the upper minus the lower, and we add one. In this case, we have one additional thing to do. Because we notice that the integers, we are skipping our integer every time, or we are counting in twos, right? We have to say the upper integer, which is 288, minus the lower, which is 2. And we're going to divide that by 2, and then we are going to add 1. Right, so 288 minus 2, that is going to give us 286. Right, divided by 2, then we add 1, 286 divided by 2, that is 143 plus 1, so that is going to give us 144 houses. On the western side, how many houses are there between the house numbered 166 and 184? So again, very similar. But the key thing that they want here is between. So we're going to exclude, right? We're going to exclude that integer now. So this time, we're going to say the upper, which is 184, minus the lower, 166, divided by 2. But this time, we are going to subtract 1. Right, so 184 minus 166, that gives us 18 divided by 2 minus 1. That's 9 minus 1, which will give us 8 houses. Which of the houses from 1 to 100 have numbers that are both a multiple of 29 and a composite number? So, first, let's look at the multiples of 29. Multiples, think multiply. When I multiply 29 by 1, by 2, by 3, etc., what is the product that I'm going to get? That will be the multiples of 29, right? So 29 by 1 will give me 29. 29 by 2 is going to give me 58. 29 by 3, that is 87. And we'll stop there because it's pretty obvious that 29 by 4 is going to give us more than 100, right? Out of this list, now we're going to choose the composite numbers, right? And the two composite numbers that we have here would be 58 and 87, right? Hosea delivers a pamphlet to some of the houses on the eastern side of the road. He starts at house number one, and then he delivers to every other house in order, right? They gave us an expression in terms of N for the house number of the N's house, to which Hosea delivers pamphlets. So we have a little algebra here, right? It's only value of k. So if you look at the formula or the expression that they gave us, right? In terms of n for the number of the n's house, right? So again, you can look back at the little diagram that they gave us, right? If that might help you, or again, you're just going to formulate our own formula. So 4n plus k is going to give us the n's house. In this case, Four, we're going to replace and we're going to substitute the number in this formula, which is one, right? Because they said that he started at house number one, right? So house number one is actually the first house, right? The end house, they said, right? So four by the house number one plus whatever the value of k is, is going to equal the end house, which in this case is what? The first house. 4 multiplied by 1 is 4. 4 plus k is equal to 1. We're going to basically make k the subject of the formula, right? We're going to just carry everything over the equal sign. Remember, when we go over the equal sign, it does the inverse of the operation. 
So k is equal to 1, 4 goes over, it becomes minus 4. k will be equal to minus 3. Now they want us to determine the number of the 50 at house to which he delivers a pamphlet, right? So again, we, we've, we've determined the value of k. So now it's just a matter of us filling that into the formula for us to find out what is the house number of the 50 at house, right? So let's go. So we have 4. That's going to multiply by 50 because 50 at house, right? We know k, in this case, it's minus 3, sorry. Minus 3 is equal to, and we basically calculate that 50 by 4, 5 fours are 20, so that's 200 minus 3, which is going to give us 197. So the house number would be 197. There have been 36 complaints about the garbage collection service along the roadside. Here we have the complaints as follows. We have to complete the table below, right? We have the frequencies, the pie chart sector angle. So we know for pie chart, right? Um, it's a circle. A uh, circle is made up of 360 degrees. So what we have to do is find out what fraction of the um what fraction of the population each one of these complaints represents. And then we're gonna see what portion of the entire circle that is going to represent, which will ultimately be the angle, right? So we have 36 complaints in all. That's the total frequency here, right? The price is 15 out of 36 complaints. And the entire circle is made up of 360 degrees. So we multiply that by 360. We do the same thing for off schedule. That will be 12 out of 36. And again, we multiply by 360, and that's going to give us the angle. So let's just plug that straight in your calculator. 15. Right, so we have 150 degrees here. Right, 12 out of 36. Right, we have 120 degrees here. Right, of course, if you add up all three, Angles, you're supposed to get back 360 degrees. Complete the pie chart below to show the information in the table, right? Um, what I'm doing this on the screen, right? So it wouldn't be as accurate, but again, if you have your, um, your protractors and stuff, you can measure those angles, right? So 90 degrees of the path, 90 degree angle, right? It's going to look like a straight line this way. Make sure and put your indicator. Right, and we're going to label that that's untidy work. And then we have 150 and 120 degrees, right? So I'm just averaging again because I'm doing it on the screen, right? So this would be about 120, this would be about 150 degrees, right? Again, you label up your stuff. This is the price, and here we have off. Good. right that brings us to the end of number one so we're going to follow up with number two in another video